healing the children's bread. Matthew chapter 15 verses 21 to 28. Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. A very important truth that you and I must understand what Jesus mentioned here is that healing is the children's bread. Here was a Canaanite woman. She was non-Jewish. She didn't belong to uh, the Jewish people. She must have heard a lot about Jesus and his ministry and how he was healing thousands of people. And so she decided to go to Jesus on behalf of her daughter who was demon-possessed, troubled, and must, must have been all kinds of problems. When she approaches Jesus, she does not see any kind of encouragement. Uh, first of all, the disciples of Jesus want to get rid of her. Jesus makes a theological statement. He says, at this point, I'm only sent to the house of Israel. I can't help you. You're not a Jewish woman, so to speak. And uh, in the process, he also says, I can't take the children's bread and give it to the dogs. But yet the woman puts out her argument saying, all I want is a crumb. The dogs can eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. And Jesus recognizes that as great faith and her, the woman receives what she came for. But what we want to focus on is a statement that Jesus made about healing and deliverance being the children's bread. You see, you and I as believers are the children of God and God spreads a table before us. And on that table is bread for us to partake of. You see, as children, we can freely partake of what our Heavenly Father has laid out on the table for us. And one of the things He's laid out for us is healing and deliverance, which is our bread, meaning this is God's provision for us. There is no reason why any of God's children should lack this bread, to be in want of this bread. Healing is the children's bread. I want you to understand that we need to understand that healing is our benefit, it's our privilege. It's something God has spread out for us as His children that we can freely take off, enjoy, eat as much as we want. No parent will tell the child, you know, that bread is on the table, don't touch it. And, you know, it's for you, it's for you to enjoy. Healing is for you. Healing is the children's bread. God has made it available to you. What you and I need to do, like this Canaanite woman, is to take it by faith. She asked for a crumb. You and I can have the whole loaf. It's for us. Let's receive what our Heavenly Father has spread out for us, healing and deliverance. As we pray, I want you to say, God, I receive healing. It's my bread. And expect God to heal you now. Let's pray. So Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for every person listening who needs healing and deliverance. Healing is the children's bread. It's theirs. So I take authority over every oppressive work of the devil. I break it off of them in Jesus' name. And I release healing for them because healing is our bread. And I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.